Welcome guys in episode 7 um, Well, actually I have done a lot Not on camera Because uh, Because I would have 100 parts So um, Yeah Let's just um, Delete these tracks as for this moment the power poles we don't need and I uh, shall give you a little tour of mine what have I been doing um, I've building uh, I've been busy building smelteries and smelteries and smelteries and again smelteries and of course also laying rail tracks and a strange matter so this is my uh, smeltery layout and um, this is my steel smeltery layout and this is my strange matter layout so apparently we have uh, pollution but these aren't even powered so great so I had a temporary belt of iron uh, from the strange matter and uh, I've deleted the strange matter and uh, made a completely design so yeah so um, what is my smeltery setup let's go and find out so this is the input of course we need some rail tracks next what have we come on okay we have about uh, 10 of these furnaces and another 10 and uh, we have uh, that's one section and we have five of them in one full length smeltery so it's uh, from here to here and then we have that five times so that's my smeltery layout this left part the full left part as for this moment will be iron ore smelting or iron ore processing whatever and the right side will be copper processing and also I have uh, some radars very useful next I have um, steel setup which is actually pure the same I have again uh, five uh, full length layouts for the um, iron ore and then one for the furnace uh, one for steel um, why? Because the steel requires five iron, so that's why the five smelteries. Um, input will be iron ore, output will be steel, of course. And here and then I already have some rail tracks, like here you can see. Um, here in the middle, this is my main bus, which has eight lanes and another eight lanes so eight lanes for iron ore eight lanes for copper ore as for this moment i have uh, one lane for steel i will be having one or two lanes for stone and then one or two lanes for coal and then also one or two lanes for the bricks so probably i have one lane of stone and one lane of um, bricks so let's show you around in the strange matter facility as I'm going up and up and up so uh, I was thinking one metal fabricator I have is this moment five Oop, I will set one set the one uh, here this will take five seconds for uh, one solid cube let's say so uh, this one second for one solid cube now the solid cube uh, ta -ta -ta -tum, to the liquid matter takes about 12 seconds so I have laid out 12 uh, chemical plants including speed modules and beacons then I have another 12 because I always have two sides so uh, this one section over here should handle up two matter fabricators the big ones so I have also about five, one, two, three, four, five. So this piece will handle up to ten metal fabricators. Probably I will add one or two more because you know you won't don't want to have an empty belt. So you really need to have the full 
capacity using. Next what I'm going to do is in this right section you can of course lay down the assemblies to generate the ores. But I'm still thinking how I'm going to do this and how much I'm going to need because um, this part I'm not going to use to generate ores but I'm going to use it to um, to stack it up in some fluid tanks. Why? Because first of all we need stone and coal as well. We probably need some uranium processing. Um, and for our artillery, you know, uh, first of all artillery, some things need heavy oil, light oil, light flamethrower ammo. And next of course we need oil processing as well. So it's like we need some crude oil which we can get from the strange matter as well and I think the best idea for that is uh, using trains again so I was thinking like putting this into a fluid wagon and then transport it to I think I'm going to put it somewhere here um, yeah that should be fine so what are we going to do now in this episode as much as time as I have um, we're going to make all the junctions right here and I uh, technically need some more um, I need some more concrete so first of all let's lay some extra concrete uh, no yeah right here and it's going slow very slow and of course, as always, I will come back in a few seconds. So, welcome back guys. I'm, uh, <laughs> I've laid a little concrete just for an hour. Really was fun. So, what I'm going to do, I hope to do, is try to make these junctions. Um... So that's about it. I am thinking of like, um, first of all, I need to lay sound on tracks. So first, one, two, three, one. So that's like one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. So, for example, one, two, three, four, five, one. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, like one, two, three, ups, one, two, three, up. And all so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tricks I can handle. which is not 16 and actually 25 so I probably need some more concrete well first of all it was a little tour I think I'm going to do this off camera because it's just a lot of work uh, and I'll show you around in the next episode as we are also going to build our artillery why because we're going to need it and we need a we really need an input of uh, resources because uh, this iron that I've stopped now is almost done and this uh, co copper patch is like only like uh, let's see 100k which is gonna be empty soon so guys this was a little tour in episode 7 uh, and I'll see you in episode 8. Bye.